guys, welcome to Try It Thursday. Today I'm going to go over um, simply how to put together a meal prep bowl. Some people call them Buddha bowls. Um, they're really easy to make at home, a lot more cost effective. If you're going to a place like Freshy, you're probably going to spend 15 bucks uh, making these. So it's um, really quick, uh, easy to do at home, and you can save a bunch of money. You can also control um, how many calories you're putting in your bowls as well as the ingredients you're putting in, okay? So if you have any food allergies, um, when you're going out to, to pick up um, you know, a Buddha bowl somewhere or a meal prep bowl somewhere, you can't really control what's going in. They have set ingredients. So um, I'm gonna walk you through uh, how to make your own at home. Um, it's a, what you wanna do first is meal prep all your ingredients. So one of the easiest meal prep techniques is, is, is uh, bulk prepping. That just simply means you're preparing all your ingredients in bulk. Okay, so you can cook everything pretty quick. Um, you're gonna need carbs, so any carb source you like. Today I'm gonna be using quinoa, but you can use sweet potato, white potato, uh, rice, whatever you like, whatever your preferred carb source is. Um, you're gonna need a protein, and that could be uh, animal protein, it could be a vegan protein, something like uh, tempeh or tofu, um, or you can use uh, ground, ground chicken, ground turkey, ground beef, or uh, chicken breast, chicken thighs, anything you like. Um, for me, I like to stay closer to the leaner side of, of the meat, so I'll use um, turkey, chicken, um, or lean cuts of beef, uh, but really it's a matter of preference. You're also going to need a cooked veggie, so um, I usually use either broccoli or um, uh, you can use asparagus, um, basically anything you, you like um, that, that you can either cook, so uh, you can broil it. Uh, in the oven or you can steam it. Uh, if you don't like veggies, um, a quick tip also is, is try cooking it a different way. Um, a lot of people, they don't like Brussels sprouts, but I don't think you've ever had them in the oven. Um, they're really good in the oven versus boiled because boiled, they don't taste very good. <laughs> um, so I, I'm gonna be using Brussels sprouts today, but feel free to use any, uh, any vegetable that you enjoy. Uh, you're gonna need a legume or a bean. So today I'm gonna use edamame. Uh, I really like uh, edamame. It's higher in protein than most beans as well. And for me, it's easier to digest. So if you have any uh, issues digesting other kinds of beans, try edamame. Um, those you can cook. If they're coming in a can, you don't have to cook them. Um, but also you can roast them too, uh, matter of preference again. And then you're gonna need um, raw veggies. So. The raw veggies I like to use are things like beets, carrots, um, kale. You can use um, any kind of lettuce if you want. Um, spinach is really good, uh, but you want to make sure that it's something that you can chew and digest raw, um, which means you're probably going to have to cut them up in bite-sized pieces or uh, you can julienne them as well. Um, the key here too is to kind of make it as colorful as possible. That just is a good way of making sure that you're getting a variety of different vegetables. Um, so those are the ones I'm using today. Uh, carrot, uh, beets, and then, uh, purple cabbage. Okay, so that, that that ensures I'm using kind of a whole range of different uh, veggies. Uh, if you want to upgrade your bowl, you can also add a fermented vegetable. So um, I'm using kimchi today. It's really good. It's um, it's got really it has pro and prebiotics in it. Um, the kimchi is nice because it's, it's actually very flavorful, so it adds to the flavor of, of the bowl. You can use something like sauerkraut. You can make your own fermented veggies as well. You don't even have to put them on. Some people don't prefer the taste of them. They have like a sour taste, obviously, because they are fermented. Um, so you don't have to put these in, but um, they just kind of upgrade your bowl a little bit. Um, you're also going to need some sort of uh, dressing. So uh, I have, I use a, a dressing that I make, homemade one, with, uh, it's like a, a, a live vinaigrette. Again, it's a good way to kind of track how many calories you're putting in your bowls. If you're just dumping salad dressing on top, you're probably adding a lot of calories to it, depending on what kind of salad dressing you're using. So I like to make uh, homemade uh, vinaigrette. Um, and then uh, if you go to like a, a fancier place, they'll actually put um, like, like seeds or um, uh, nuts and stuff on top of, of the bowls. So I actually have roasted um, sesame seeds that I really like on top. I just got these from Nofro, they're pretty cheap. Um, you just sprinkle them on top, gives it a nice little crunch and a, a good taste too. So um, those are kind of your, your base ingredients. Your, your template is always gonna be a carb source, okay? So it could be a, a, a grain, it could be a, a vegetable if you like a potato, sweet potato. You want your protein, cooked veggie, legume, raw veggie, and then again, if you wanna upgrade it, you can do a fermented uh, vegetable as well. 
So I'm going to put this one together. You always want to start with your base is going to be your, your carb. Okay, so if you're an athlete or you're working out, um, you want a decent amount of carbs in your diet to help you recover between your workouts, give you enough energy throughout the day. So um, don't really, you don't want to limit your carbs. If you're trying to cut calories, um, you can limit uh, the carbs you put into it and you can actually add more veggies, which will keep you feeling full longer. So um, replacing your, not all of them, but replacing half of your carbs with raw veggies is a good way to um, to kind of increase the volume of your bowl without adding too many calories. So I'm going to add my quinoa. I just add it to the bottom. And you can eyeball it. It's uh, that's the awesome thing about the bowls is that it's they're really flexible. So you don't there's no like set amount. Um, it all depends on what your goals are. So that that'll change, right? Um, like I said, if you're an athlete that, that's training like four or five times a week, you're going to want lots of carbs. Um, if you're not an athlete, you don't need those carbohydrates and you want to put more veggies. Okay. So there's my base layer. I have my quinoa in there. Then you're going to go ahead and put your, your protein in there. So again, you can use any protein you want. Um, I'm going to use ground turkey today. You can, if you're vegan, you can use tempeh, um, any soy based protein as well. So I put those in. So I have those two ingredients there. Now I'm gonna put my cooked vegetables. So for me, it's my Brussels sprouts. I roasted them earlier. I'm gonna throw those in. And you can, if you want, you can make this look fancy. You can um, kind of be strategic on where you place all your all your, uh, all your ingredients. Um, but for me, I'm just like, throw it in, eat it, get it done. Uh, I don't pay too much attention to what it looks like sometimes. Um, so there's there's my uh, my veggies. I'm gonna throw my legumes on there. So add a mommy, and then I'm gonna throw it in the microwave. So I like to have those four ingredients warmed up. So I, I usually put them in the microwave now with, before I put my other vegetables and other ingredients in. So I put them in for like uh, probably two minutes in the microwave, just make sure they're heated up. Uh, take it out, and then you can start putting your raw veggies on top. So like, again, you can you can just dump them in. There's there's no real rule. If you want to make make it look a look pretty a bit prettier, you can like strategically place them. Um, it's really up to you. I'm gonna put my um, my purple cabbage and my kale. So these are all the cold ingredients that aren't necessarily warmed up. And then from there, you can put if you have it and if you want to upgrade your your bowl, you can put your kimchi or your fermented vegetables. Throw that on top, and you don't need much. Okay, probably about two tablespoons to get the benefits, because um, there's a lot of, especially when you get homemade, there's a lot of probiotic prebiotics in there. Um, and then, if you want, you can sprinkle it with um, some seeds. I'm gonna throw some roasted sesame seed on there. Um, quick tip too to keep the calories low. What you can do after um, adding your own vinaigrette is uh, hot sauce is really good to add a lot of flavor without putting too many calories on. Uh, I like tahine. Um, gives it a nice, uh, pretty, pretty explosive taste. Uh, this is like a Mexican seasoning. You can get this at Walmart. Um, but it's like there's 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 really no nothing bad in it. It's actually just seasoning. Um, n actually, no sodium at all. So you can sprinkle that on top too, and then you would just drizzle your your uh, store bought or homemade uh, salad dressing. So this one's this one's from uh, Longos. I just picked it up. It's a uh, vinaigrette. It's got um, avocado oil. Uh, but again, you can just squeeze a lime on there. Um, some olive oil if you want. From there, you you can either leave it as is. So you can see, my didn't do a pretty. You know, I didn't do a bad job there, making it look pretty. Um, but you don't. You really don't have to. It's, it's all going to be the same when, once you put it down. <laughs> you know, scoop it out and eat it. Um, so you can just throw it all together if you want. Uh, a lot of times you don't have the time to sit there and make it look pretty. Uh, but if you have some friends over, you want to impress them, put it together nicely, you can kind of plate it all. Um, but like I said, it all tastes the same once you get your, your spoon in there. Uh, so yeah, just a quick way to um, kind of cover all your bases. Um, you're, you're getting your protein, your fats, your carbohydrates, your veggies, some of your micronutrients too. You got um, some really good benefits out of the, uh, the kimchi. And um, yeah, all the raw veggies as well. So 
uh, give it a go. It's really simple to do. You're going to save a lot of money doing it at home. Um, if, you know, something like that, you could probably buy all the ingredients for the same prices, you know, for the week as uh, just going out once and, and picking one up from uh, one of the takeout spots, especially Freshie's pretty expensive. Um, so give it a go. Uh, again, feel free to add whatever veggies you like. And uh, like I was saying before, if, uh, if you don't like certain veggies, it might just be because that's the way you kind of were introduced to them growing up, you know, if they're, they're cooked. A uh, certain way. So if you do, if you don't like uh, boiled veggies, try roasting them uh, in the oven. You can try seasoning them as well too. So uh, salt, pepper, and then a whole bunch of different seasonings you can you can put on uh, garlic, onion. Um, don't be afraid to kind of uh, adventure out and try some new veggies. Um, but yeah, that's a quick little tip, uh, a little um, I guess template to put one together. Hope you guys can can try it, and um, I hope uh, I hope you like it. So. Give it a go and we'll see you next time. Thanks.